Yeah, you're doing this with me. Yo, yo, top five most common mistakes when starting to grow your own mushrooms. First, we have overhydrating the substrate. This is a common problem a lot of people make because, um, you know, you know, mushrooms need water, but if you put too much, it actually creates a favorable condition for bacteria, which will weaken your mycelium and also uh, make it easier for trite to take over. And as we can see here, um, I'm showing the contrast between oversaturated substrate and substrate with proper fill capacity. I'm squeezing the hell out of this substrate. And you can see I'm only getting like one drop. All right, for number two, common mistake is not utilizing agar. A lot of people will buy LC or some sort of spore syringe and not even put it to agar first and I get it like you want to cut corners save some time but this really isn't the type of hobby that's for the fast pace like it's a lot of waiting and if you want to do things right it's best to do things in an orderly fashion so as you can see here I um, put an LC to agar and it just turned out to be completely bacterial but I was able to save it by transferring some of the mycelium to another plate if I was in a hurry and would have shot this LC right the grain, I would have failed. I would have wasted my time completely. Another common mistake is using too much culture. If you're shooting like five to 10 cc's into a quart jar, you're making a big mistake. I recommend using like one cc for a quart jar and like one to three for like a three to five pound bath. If you're saturating your spawn with LC, you're gonna create conditions favorable for bacteria and that's just gonna ruin. Respond. Um, unless you're making cordyceps, you really don't need a lot of LC at all. Number four, wet in a membrane. Usually this will happen during your PC cycle if you ain't really wrap it right. I mean, you can wrap it right and it still can happen, but um, if a lot of water starts to pull on top of the lid, it can wick contaminants into your micropore tape if you use micropore tape. Um, best solution is getting something that's hydrophobic, like this one here. Five, soaking grains too long or overnight if you're still soaking your grains overnight you're probably reading too many shrimp reports um we a lot of people don't do that anymore a lot of people use um no soak no simmer text i just simmer for like 30 minutes depending on what grain it is just to get a quick hydration and uh yeah the longer you soak your grains after about four hours, you start to increase the amount of endospores that are in the grains, which actually works against your chances, of, your chances of success. So yeah, just don't soak for super long periods of time. Bonus, bonus tip. A lot of mistakes people make is like sitting on things too long. And if you just pressure cook your grains, don't sit on it for like days. Just go ahead and knock it out. I mean, you, you could still have success sitting on it for for weeks even, but um, it's just better to do everything in a timely fashion. Same thing with like your spawn once it's fully colonized. Don't just let it sit there for weeks. Go ahead and put that thing to bulk and get it over with. The quicker you get done each thing without leaving too much room for waiting, the better things will go.